Hey guys, it's Coke from Math Challenge. Before we break down the easiest percentage trick, I wanted to share an example using a percentage table because this would be the default method for any percentage problem. Okay guys, so I know the problem said what's 72% of 25, but we're actually gonna take the 72 and break that down into percentages. You'll see why at the end of this video. So if you take 100% of 72, that's just the actual number, so 72. And 50%, guys, is just half of that number. So half of 72 is going to be 36. And then 25% is half of 50, so that's going to be 18. Or you can think of it as breaking down 72 into four parts. Now I'm going to skip 20 for one second and then go to 10%. Uh, for 10%, it's really easy, guys. Make sure you have the decimal uh, to the right of the last number and then move it over one spot. So in this case, 10% uh, of 72 is just 7.2. And then 5% is again half of 10%. So we know that it is 3.6. Oops. And I'm going to go back to the 20% here. So 20% is double of 10. So double the 7.2. So we're going to get 14.4. And then for the final 1%, uh, if we move the decimal over one spot for the 10%, we know that we need to move the decimal one place more over to get 1%. So your answer for that is going to be 0 0.72. So once you know the basics of percentages, you can calculate any percentages like 17% or 63% by referencing that table. Now, I'm not going to go as far as saying you can calculate it in your head mentally, but it sure helps to have it in the back of your mind. So yeah, if we had a problem like find 17% of 72 we can refer back to this table and so because we know the 10 5 and the, the 1 we can add all these numbers together and add one more percent to it and say that our answer is equal to 12.24 i don't think there's any really quick way to do this mentally but again at least you know how to do it without using a calculator now just one more example here if the problem asks us to find the 65 percent of 72 you can refer to the chart and certainly add the 50 percent 10 percent and the five percent numbers together but what i usually do is take the 10 percent value and then for this in case i can multiply that by six and then add another five percent to it so when i do that my answer comes out to 46.8 Okay guys, I know you've been waiting for this. This is the easiest and coolest percentage trick you've never learned in school. Okay guys, so the easiest and coolest percentage trick is to reverse the two numbers order. So instead of taking 72% of 25, we can think about the problem as taking 25% of 72. So in this case, 75% uh, is just breaking down 72 into four equal parts. So we know that the answer is equal to 18. Now this wouldn't work for all problems, but if you have numbers involving like 25, 50, 75, or even 20, this trick is super useful. Now, why does this work? Here's the math behind it. For, so for the first one, if you take 72% of 25, that's like multiplying 72. And if we convert that to a decimal, it's like 1 over 100 or 0 0.72 times 25. Now for the bottom one, it's going to be 25. And then converting that to a decimal, we're going to multiply that by 1 over 100 or divide by 100, same thing, and then multiply that by 72. And I think you guys can see it from these two examples here. We're multiplying the same exact numbers together, but in different orders. In this case, it's called the commutative property of multiplication. I don't know if you've learned that, but because we're multiplying the same numbers together, the order doesn't matter. We're still going to get the same answer.